Hello, everybody, and welcome to Connected Pediatrics. My name is Mike Marinus, here hosting um, little pieces of micro content that I find quite interesting. And uh, if I can bring them through to you and we can put these things into our practices, that's what it's all about. It's all about sharing information. So today, I have Dr. Laura Cawthra, who is with us. Thank you very much, Doc, for uh, taking Hi. the time to hang out with us. That's okay, no worries. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, so Doc talked to, to me the other day on a on a Facebook page where I put up a video of a little one uh, crawling and we weren't doing so well. And then uh, Doc said to me, have you checked the amphibian reflex? And I went, the what? So that's why I've got her on today to be able to say, to give us an idea of what this amphibian reflex is. So, so what are we talking about? Okay, um, so uh, we were talking about um, primitive reflexes at the time, I think, on the Facebook channel. Yep. Um, and, um, yeah, your little patient um, had uh, it was like a, a bum shuffling crawl, I think, with one leg yep. dragging behind. With one leg um, dragging. Yeah. Um, and so we, well, I, uh, the amphibian reflex came to my mind. So the amphibian reflex isn't really a primitive reflex as such. It's a transitional reflex. So it, um, it should, should start to emerge around about four to six months. So it transitions from sort of like the 18R and to try to get the baby into mobility. Um, so the amphibian is the, the first time we see um, leg movement um, without head, head movement position. So if, if we've got uh, the ATNR, so this is my baby. <laughs> um, so with the ATNR, if you have the arm out and so the leg out and the head turns towards the side of the extended arm and leg. Okay. Um, with the amphibian, we want to see the um, leg kind of flex and the hip lift okay, okay. without okay. head movement okay so you can uh, check or activate the reflex by just uh, feeling just on the inside here so like on the uh, psoas muscle and you should see the leg sort of I don't know if this baby's doing it really should come up and sort of bend like like that like so Perfect. So when you put pressure onto that, is it almost on the inside of that ASIS? Yeah. That you yes. Kind of... Yes. Okay. That's right. So pressure on there, you should get that, that knee to start. Yeah. So you should get the sort of like the, the knee cut, the knee flexing up underneath, and you should see that the back sort of okay. roll, uh, rolling backwards. So it's sort of like one movement. The hip comes up, and you see sort of the hip coming. Not really showing it that well. So the hip coming back. I way. think bring baby just across a little bit yep. towards yep. you. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay, can see now. Cool. I can't. I don't know what you can see. I can see me there, but it looks different. I think. Yeah. So I got you. That's perfect. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So sort of like. So yeah. Reflex point here, like on the inside of the ASIS, ASIS like you said. Um. So you should get the the flexion of the hip, and sort of the extension. So sort of one movement. Sort of basically the leg comes up underneath, and then this bit starts to roll backwards a little bit. Perfect. Makes perfect. Sense. Yeah. Good. Uh, cool. And before, when you were showing the ATNR, it was a little bit off. Would you like to start? Oh, okay. Show that? That again? So, um, normal position for ATR, you have this baby doesn't extend too well. Extension of the arm and the leg. Yep. Can you see? Yep. <laughs> and the head turns to the side of extension. Yep. That's... On the other side, you'll get flexion. So, you get flexion of the um, arm and flexion of the leg. Okay. Okay. Sense? Right, so that has to be uh, that that has to be integrated for this amphibian to start working. Yes, right. so so yeah, so the amphibian coming online, so to speak, or emerging, tells us that the um, 18R has been inhibited. Okay. Yep. I'm with you. Cool. I'm with you. I'm with you. Excellent. Okay, and then the spinal gland is in there as well. Yeah, um, so you've got the spinal gland, so um, you can try and elicit it by you've got the, the spine here, okay, mm -hmm. and the scapula. So if you run your finger down like so, then yeah. you should do that kind of manoeuvre. Perfect. Okay. To the same side. Yeah, to the same side of the, the, the stimulus. Okay, so obviously, if to get that um, amphibian kind of thing, you need to have yes. had the 18R um, emerge and start to do its thing so baby can then work in this direction. Okay. Yeah. I get and, you. And I think the other one we talked about was the spinal pares. Yeah. 
So this time you've got the, the sacrum here and you're running two fingers kind of up this way. Okay. And this time, if we can see it in this plane, uh, th this baby's very stiff. So <laughs> that it should, so the, the uh, you should sort of like get extension from the sacrum to uh, between T1, 2. So it's kind of not like a banana shape. Yeah. In, in the back there. It, 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 she's stiff. Yes. So <laughs> you can't do it on her. Um, I, I, I have one here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So it'll be a yeah. little bit more squishy. A bit more flexible. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, right. that, that kind of thing. Good Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is the better baby? <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. So, 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 yeah. So they, they kind of, uh, in a way that the reflexes sort of uh, come online in a particular order. Okay. So you uh, have to see the reflex emerge mm. um, and then see it, um, once it's done its job, then we know that it's integrated into the system. Yeah. Okay. Um, so say uh, you didn't see the amphibian, it might be, uh, the amphibian hasn't emerged, or it might be that the ATNR still hasn't um, come online or, or fully done its job. So you might need to go backwards and work with the ATNR and then go backwards again or maybe look at the, the glands or the spinal pares and see if they have, you know, done their job they're designed to do and are they um, inhibiting what you're looking at now? Or, mm. yeah, so you're working at, at the reflexes that facilitate what you're looking at now and the ones that might be opposing it as well. Okay, so you've got this almost this building block that's happening and you get this amphibian sitting on the top, which is transitional, but you've got all these little primitives yep. underneath that need to have come online first and have integrated and done their job and then a more yep. intricate a reflex emerges. Yes, so so some of them are, um, it's, it's kind of like a, a jigsaw puzzle in a way because some last longer than others and so some might still be active at the same time, so some are what we call lifelong reflexes. Mm. Um, but yeah, you, so you need to sort of go back and, and dig back and see which ones are inhibiting it, what you're looking at, at now. Okay, perfect. So what happens if we have a baby who's not showing the amphibian reflex. What does that child look like? Um, well, it could be uh, like the um, baby in your um, your video that they're not getting their their leg flexion underneath. Mm -hmm. um, it could be that they're still stuck in sort of the the 18 hour pose so that every time. Yeah. So every time they try to stick their leg under their arm comes out. So they're, um, you know, unable to, to move out of that, that posture. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you're still, still getting head and body link rather than being differentiated. Okay. Yeah. So, that, so that's kind of the ticket here is that we're looking for a differentiation between the two where you've got the old reflexes, which are kind of still hanging everything together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now what do we do? With what this do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How, how long have you got? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and obviously it's a massive question, but yeah. just kind of a, an overview of, of what, what the kind of approach would be for this. Yeah, um, so um, I guess if, if you're just looking solely at the amphibian reflex, mm -hmm. you can try and help baby to, to move through that. So um, if you're using the, the reflex point that we talked about on the, yeah. on the ASISS, yeah. uh, so to stimulate that and help and help baby to, um, you know, put his knee and his uh, rotate his hip backwards. So if you kind of keep, you know, doing that motion so he gets the, the idea of it. Yeah. Um, if uh, if the ATNR is still active, then you might have to go back and repattern the, the ATNR, you know, mm -hmm. or the glance or the spinal perez, which yeah. you know, can take another. Sure. And, that takes, <laughs> that, that's, that, I, and, and I think as well, like, um, that takes a lot of, uh, of reading, being taught. I think that takes a lot of understanding to understand where primitive reflexes come from, how do we deal with them. So a lot of training goes into that idea. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, just as an overview, that's the kind of things we would look at. And it's nice because then people can go, great, now this is something I need to delve into. This ATNR, yeah. what are you talking about? How do I go about looking at it? But just to give a nice 
overview of what this amphibian reflex was, which he caught me completely by surprise with, which I, which I love having happen to me because then I'm like, ah, oh, here's a new thing. Excellent. <laughs> Something for you to learn. <laughs> yeah. okay. So, Dr. Laura Corthwell, thank you so, so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for enlightening us about the uh, amphibian reflex. And I'm sure the next time you school me on something, I will have you back. Okay. <laughs> so thank you very much for your time. No worries. Bye. <laughs>